Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 59 of my country friends. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. BTW, if my phone goes off, it's because of the fact that I'm currently um, installing the new update for it. And yeah, also YouTube is down, so. I don't know when in the world I'll possibly be able to get this out. I'm going to try to get it out today because I'm literally like, I was trying to wait for something else to come out before I was going to watch this. And then I was like, no, let me go ahead and watch it. Let me get everything all ready for it. And I couldn't get to the dang video for the previous episode. And I was like, why? And YouTube's just down. And no one knows how long it's going to be down for. So we just hope by the time I'm done editing this and wanting to upload this, YouTube's okay. Well, I hope your iTube doesn't go down. No Wakaba? It's okay. I mean, but still, hopefully in episode 60, they do what I think they're gonna do. I mean, because like with uh, one show that I'm watching, uh, K-On! K-On! did an episode that focused on the four seniors who are graduating this year, and then the next two episodes that I'll probably be watching either today or tomorrow um, focuses on the other band member who's a freshman, and one of the girl's sisters and a friend while they're also at school because the other girls went on a field trip. So can we please have that? Like, just see what everyone else is doing, even though I still love the focus on Aine, Mio, um, Kata, Mirai, and Hiki, and Alicia sometimes because Alicia is not always here. But at the same time, I mean, what the heck are those two doing? Emma and Micah, and then, you know, Saka and Kaguya, what you doing? You're not just sitting around somewhere waiting for these girls to come back. What about Wakaba? Wakaba's barely been in this dang show. Like, how many episodes has she been in? Like, two, three, I'm guessing? Like, she hasn't been in every single episode, and I clearly understand that. She's getting less screen time than, um, Mahiru from, I think, what, Double M? Because she got a heck of a lot of screen time. And this girl ain't even got barely even none. So, I mean, being a little type of way. Really? <laughs> yes. My thing is, how did they get that out there already? <laughs> So she goes around just, you know, spending time with them. It's so sweet. Oh, look at the one that's falling asleep! <laughs> so cute, my guy.
Mm -hmm. God, my baby. Oh my God, so freaking cute. Yeah, that's some other show. I mean, if you want the people of your country to smile again, maybe doing a katsu is the key. Something. I don't know. Love I cut you backwards. Mm hmm I
Serious exit. <laughs> Mirai and Cotton are going to perform in today's episode. Maybe just Mirai, I don't know. Alicia. Well, dang, it looked like she already got her. Yep. Mm -hmm. See? Of course, because it's right there. So that means... Cotton already has hers as well. So then, when the heck is everybody else getting theirs? We gotta mysteriously wait for everybody else. I'm okay with that, but then I would have been like a little bit more happier if we would have did an episode where Mirai and Cotton got their freaking jewels. It's a little messed up that they already have theirs because it's like okay, it's like the last few episodes of Stars when he may got hers and. Throughout the show of season two, there were points where you got to see her always looking at the goddamn moon, and we never, like, slowly but surely people were figuring it out, but it would have just been better if we had an episode that focused on a character, aka top characters who don't really get a lot of focus, 
get their wings or get their gems. Like, Jesus. I mean, because in my opinion, it's a little unfair. Because it's like, oh, well, dang, she got one. She already has it. But we didn't get to see it. See, even till today, Mirai reminds me a lot of Kayere. And I think, you know, if they ever wanted to do a crossover with OG Aigatsu in this, which I'm kind of hoping that they do, I, I can see those two literally partner. <laughs> and I mean, plus, Kayere needs love. Kayere, I think, from OG Aigatsu is one of not the least favorite character for a lot of people, but she's the one character that did not get a lot of, um, Screen time, in my opinion. Because anytime she did, there was maybe one or two episodes that focused on her by herself. But then other times, it would always be about, um, I'm about to say Love Me Tear, uh, Tristar. And the situation of fact is, once Mizuki left, I'm about to say Bronco. <laughs> because idolized her. Eureka left. And so it was just Kayere. That's it. Well, I've never seen the word I cut to with the ED. I cut to. <laughs> mm hmm. Just because she doesn't want to do it doesn't mean you don't want to do it. You don't have to. You don't always have to follow her. Yes, because she is the leader. Yeah. 
And how long did it take you? <laughs> uh -huh. Hmm? Oh, Okay. But see, we already know that she has one. But she hasn't just released it to its fullest potential. Nothing else, Tom? Huh? It looks so cute together. Oh my god. I don't know why, but like Himiki, Himiki has this like masculinity about her. It, it's just something that I think I like a lot. She's a really interesting character, but she just charms. She's like um, Akira from Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl on Mode, uh, Kaoru from Bandari, uh, Freaking uh, Haruka from Sailor Moon. I could name all, uh, like a whole bunch of girls who have a masculinity personality inside of them. But it's like it's really sweet. But she's only she's around it like a little bit with Alicia, but she uses it like a lot towards any of the girls, and you can just feel that fire burning inside. Of them, but like, uh, I just mm, I don't know how to feel about this episode. It was good one. I just. I feel bad for the townspeople because they had to literally play a game with them to say love I cut through backwards and then once they found out it was a cut through they all felt bad about themselves because they went behind their leader's back and did something that they weren't supposed to do and such but I don't know I'm just hoping everything can just be fixed in like two or three more episodes maybe because we're not they're not like pulling teeth yet but I'm going to say if, like, if we last maybe two, three, four more episodes on this situation, then that's when I'm going to say, yeah, we're really pulling teeth. But, yeah. The you United know, dress is nice. It's really pretty. Okay. See? No, this is a little messed up. You have Emma <laughs> and Micah literally be like talking in the preview when they're not even in the episode at all, but <laughs> I'm so confused. Why would you do that? I mean, like, yes, to like say like, hey, give him some like voice. <laughs> Let them have a voice for like a couple of seconds, but still, oh no, it's not about them. But I mean, like, we're now getting ready to go into part three of this, and so this could now be a four or five part episode because we're gonna, if it's an equivalent of a month, it's gonna at least be four, five, maybe if we're pulling it, six episodes. And I don't want them to, like, try to make up ideas. Like, we already know that, that, like, season two, maybe they're, like, halfway done or almost done just recording every single episode. All the episodes are all animated. And they're maybe, like, still wondering if they can get the okay for season three or um, 
anything else after this if we're going to start something brand new because I don't want this show to be like stars where it ended after two seasons and any characters who did not get a lot of screen time just got screwed over in the end don't don't give me an Akko I mean in a way you're kind of giving me an Akko with you know Emma Micah Sakia and Kaguya in a way because of the fact is they're not here a little bit of Wakaba because Wakaba has been mentioned in, like I said, two, three episodes, I'm guessing. But if we do finish this series, if the show only has 100 episodes, just like I Got Two Stars did, I don't know if I'll be disappointed as much. But like I said, I have I think I said this a couple of weeks ago. I've heard certain things about this show, that it's going to get less episodes than Stars, that this might be the final thing for Aikatsu in its entirety. Um, but any other per every person who's kind of like told me certain things about it. Um, I've looked up things. I've only seen things from Twitter and maybe Tumblr. But not a lot of like official stuff. Like if there was a statement on um, maybe like my anime list. Um, or any of the big anime sites that like talk about a lot of other animes including this show because I've seen other anime sites that do officially translate everything of what someone's saying and they put it on official website so that we kind of know that like okay yes this show is going to end probably after this and they're going to go whatever but I can see this show going for possibly maybe one more season just to be like okay yeah we can get this show done like in three seasons. But if they do this as a season two route and end it with two seasons, I won't be pissed. I'll just be satisfied with it. But we're we're only on 59. We'll be on 60 next Sunday. And once we get to 60, I'm no, uh-uh. I'm going to say this. Once we get to maybe episode between the 80s and the 90s, that's when I'll probably maybe have a definitive version, um, an answer that will say, yeah, I think this show can really continue, or no, I think it's just going to stop after this, that they're not going to do anything else. But, I mean, there's still a lot that they could tell about. I mean, the biggest thing is just the Joel stuff. This is the new thing. Last time, it was, like, the wings, and then before that, it was also, like, the wings, and then eventually when Akari-chan came in, it was about her story and such. A lot of people think that Wakaba is going to be the next person who's going to get the POV, but... None of us really truly know until it's time for them to release something. They could be like Toll Animation where they're not going to give or show certain things out until like mid-October. And that's still like four months away from now. So literally, I, I can't, I have nothing. All I have are guesses and theories. And them guesses and theories are literally pretty much crap right now. Because like I said... <clears throat> excuse me, I have nothing, absolutely nothing to back all that up. Everyone's just going to be like, oh, okay, well, she's just like, he or she or whoever is just talking out of their butt until we get something officially. But other than that, guys, <clears throat> that is my reaction view towards episode 59 of I Cuts Your Friends. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Sunday for episode 60. BTW, I'm also happy that they decided to also have this episode come out on Sunday because I was a little hopeful last week when I watched 58. I was like, oh my god, like, just please keep this show on Sundays. Have it come out on Sunday because then it's one less thing I gotta do and worry about and stress about because when you have a lot of things to record in a day and you're trying to get everything done before you can go to sleep, even though I don't go to sleep until, like, late, but yeah. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!